The year is 2025. A fiery streak blazes across the sky. The SpaceX Dragon capsule carrying four astronauts plunges through the atmosphere. After nine long months in space, they are coming home. Suni Williams, Butch Wilmore, Nick Haig, and Alexander Gorbanov. Their journey has been long and fraught with challenges, but their return signifies more than just the end of a mission. It marks a turning point in human spaceflight. This is the era of commercial spaceflight. Companies like SpaceX are now major players in our journey to the stars. They are the pioneers of a new space race, a race driven not by national rivalry but by human ambition, the ambition to explore, to discover, and to push the boundaries of what's possible. For decades, NASA led the charge into space. The Space Shuttle program, a symbol of American ingenuity, was our chariot to the stars. But in 2011, the shuttles were retired. The iconic program came to an end. For a time, America's access to space was limited. We relied on our Russian counterparts for rides to the International Space Station. Each seat cost a staggering $70 million. It was a stark reminder of the challenges of space exploration. However, from the ashes of the shuttle program, a new era emerged. Private companies fueled by innovation and a spirit of entrepreneurship stepped into the void. Companies like SpaceX and Boeing answered NASA's call. They took on the challenge of developing new spacecraft. Their mission was clear, to provide reliable and cost-effective access to space for American astronauts. This was a turning point, a paradigm shift in space exploration. In June 2024, two astronauts, Suni Williams and Butch Wilmore, embarked on a mission to the International Space Station. Their ride was the Boeing Starliner, a new spacecraft designed to ferry astronauts to and from orbit. It was a moment of pride for American spaceflight. The Starliner represented a return to crewed launches from U.S. soil. Williams and Wilmore were pioneers, testing this new vehicle that held the promise of independent access to space. Their mission was initially planned for a short duration, just one week. But fate, as it often does in the unpredictable realm of space travel, had other plans. What began as a routine mission would soon transform into an unexpected endurance test. The astronauts' metal, their training and their spirit would be put to the ultimate test. Spaceflight is fraught with inherent risks. It is a testament to human ingenuity, but also a constant reminder of the unforgiving nature of space. The Starliner, despite its promise, encountered technical difficulties. The issues were complex and raised concerns about the safety of the spacecraft for a return journey. NASA, tasked with the lives of their astronauts, made a critical decision. The Starliner, deemed not ready for its return flight, would remain docked at the space station. Williams and Wilmore's one-week mission was put on hold indefinitely. This unexpected turn of events presented a unique challenge. Astronauts train rigorously for the physical and psychological demands of space, but no amount of training can fully prepare them for the uncertainty of an extended mission. The isolation, the confinement, and the distance from loved ones, these are the silent companions of every astronaut. Now, Williams and Wilmore, along with Nick Haig and Alexander Gorbanov, who had joined the station later, faced the daunting prospect of an extended stay in space. Section 5. Dragon to the Rescue. A Shift in Trajectory. With the Starliner grounded, NASA turned to a trusted partner, SpaceX. The Dragon capsule, already a veteran of crewed missions to the space station, became the rescue ship. It was a testament to the evolving landscape of space exploration. The reliance on private companies was no longer an experiment, it was a necessity. SpaceX, with its proven track record, stepped up to the challenge. The Dragon capsule, designed for crew comfort and safety, was outfitted for the extended mission. Supplies were loaded, systems were checked and double-checked, and the capsule was prepared for its critical journey. The Dragon would not just be a ride home for the astronauts, it symbolized the resilience of human collaboration in the face of adversity. Nine months in the confines of a space station is not just a physical challenge, it is a mental and emotional marathon. The isolation, the constant hum of machinery, the lack of familiar sights and sounds of Earth, these take their toll. Yet, the astronauts persevered. They conducted experiments, maintained the station, and even found moments of joy and wonder in the vastness of space. Their resilience was a testament to the human spirit, a testament to our ability to adapt and thrive even in the most extreme environments. Their story resonated with people back on Earth. 
We followed their journey, we celebrated their triumphs, and we marveled at their ability to remain connected to humanity even from such a distance. Their experience underscored the profound impact of space travel, not just on our understanding of the universe but also on our understanding of ourselves. After nine long months, the day arrived. The Dragon capsule, carrying the four astronauts, undocked from the International Space Station. It began its descent back to Earth. The journey home was as perilous as the journey outward. The capsule, a tiny speck hurtling through the atmosphere, endured scorching temperatures and immense pressure. But the Dragon, true to its name, emerged triumphant. The capsule splashed down in the ocean, its fiery re-entry giving way to the gentle bobbing of the waves. The astronauts, their faces etched with relief and joy, were helped out of the capsule. They were home. Their return was met with cheers, tears, and a collective sigh of relief from a world that had followed their every move. Their mission had been fraught with challenges, but their safe return was a testament to the power of human ingenuity and the unwavering spirit of exploration. The safe return of the four astronauts marked a pivotal moment in the history of space exploration. It underscored the growing role of private companies like SpaceX in shaping our destiny beyond Earth. It also highlighted the importance of international cooperation. The International Space Station, a symbol of unity and shared ambition, played a critical role in this mission. It served as a safe haven for the astronauts during their extended stay, and a testament to what we can achieve when nations work together. The future of space exploration is no longer a solo mission. It is a collaborative endeavor, with governments and private companies working together to push the boundaries of human achievement. This new era promises exciting possibilities from establishing a permanent human presence on the moon, to venturing further into the solar system, perhaps even to Mars. The story of these four astronauts is not just about the challenges they faced or the technological marvels that brought them home. It is a story about the human spirit, our innate desire to explore, to push beyond the familiar, and to reach for the stars. Their journey serves as an inspiration to us all, a reminder that even in the face of adversity, human ingenuity and collaboration can overcome any obstacle. As we look to the future, we can draw inspiration from these modern-day explorers. Their story reminds us that the pursuit of knowledge and the spirit of adventure are essential parts of what it means to be human. And as we continue to explore the cosmos, we carry with us the lessons learned from their journey, lessons about resilience, collaboration, and the boundless potential of the human spirit. The final frontier awaits, and it is ours to explore together.